The CBO found that the House bill would lead to 23 million more people being uninsured by the year 2026. And if that incident in Montana is in any indication, Republicans are not thrilled to be talking about that health care bill. The millions of Americans who likely will lose coverage if it becomes law. The ranks of the uninsured will grow by 23 million in the next decade, including 14 million losing health insurance in 2018. Less healthy people would face extremely high premiums. Benefits likely to be excluded include maternity care, treatment for mental health and substance abuse, rehab services, and children's dental care. And some enrollees could see large increases in out-of-pocket spending because annual or lifetime limits would again be allowed. Let's look now instead at a 64-year-old American paying $1,700 now. But Judy, look at that. Under this GOP bill with the waivers out of requirements, the CBO thinks that 64-year-old would see their premiums skyrocket. Essentially what the CBO has found, the less healthy and older Americans would see more costs. The new estimates are in, and the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office is projecting millions of uninsured Americans. The report makes clear Trump care would be a cancer on the American health care system. This is a devastating analysis, not just because of the 23 million that CBO estimates uh, will lose their health coverage over the next 10 years, but it, it projects that premiums will rise uh, over the next two years and that not everybody with pre-existing conditions will be able to get uh, health insurance. And that has been a fundamental promise that the president has made, the president himself has made over and over again.